What's up, everybody? It's Special Games 25 here today. We're playing Fancy Timer Sex of Volume 3 Post Loop Days. Alright, let's get started. This is part 11. The mirror seems to want to respond, but grows quiet instead. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm starting to grow on Catalay at this point. <laughs> She's added to the MILF party. I wonder what. I wonder about that, though. Considering her reaction a moment ago, Catalea still seems very prone to blushing. Oh, sorry, just one more thing? <sighs> I'm glad I remembered. Before I say goodbye to Catalea, I just want to tell her one thing. Well, that chant you see before eating. Um, I apologize if I offend you, but that chant doesn't have any special meaning in particular. No, to be brief, it's nothing but a performance to please the customers, you see. Uh-oh, she's angry now, uh-oh. <laughs> That's right, it's just a performance. <laughs> now she wants to she wants to be killed. So little Kalei collapsed onto her knees. Uh no, wait, it, it all comes together well in the end. So I think you can get away with saying it anyway. Even for me, that's the terrible follow-up. I think so. <laughs> the press one second and excited the next. Kalea seems to quite emotionally busy. She's that one. An idea? Kala takes off walking. Neither I nor Plumeria knows what she has planned, and we look at each other with our heads tilted to the side in curiosity. Oh boy. A few hours later, we've already returned to our city. Hey, they got some fast horses. Those horses got some horsepower. <laughs> After Kalea bid us farewell, she allowed us to use she allowed us the use of the two of her horses. Yes! I'm surprised that she can lend us two horses so easily. Just as Plumeria says, they are they were certainly fast. However, I never once ridden a horse before in my life. Thanks to that, the second I step off my horse, I mean my sense of balance is all out of whack. My back is already killing me. I think so. I guess Premier has some experience with horses as she looks unaffected. I don't want to ride another horse. <laughs> pull by pull along by the hand of Premier, we head to the straight ta sheep tavern. We're back everyone. Poor Daisy, look at her face. All in sadness. Sorry, I must have been tough at the shop without oof. The second I entered the shot, Daisy run towards me. I don't mind her running towards me, but she jumps at me full speed. Her head slamming right into the pit of my stomach. Ah. <sighs> no, you. You're the one that slammed into me. While I nostalgically feel the pain of Daisy head grinding into my stomach, Lupine and the others walk towards me. What? Uh, of course. <laughs> hey, don't go. Don't go say whatever you please, okay? 
anyway, including travel time, I was only gone for a total of two weeks. Oh no. Uh oh. Miss Dahlia? Oh, Dahlia looks like a goddess to me right now. Huh? Cultivated love? And in that instant, all eyes gather on us. They're focused on where my hand is interwind with Plumerius. No, this is, you know, um. Hey, Plumeria, come on. Uh oh. I said, hang on a sec, this is getting all mixed up. Oh no. Philandering chicken? Is that a bit too much? Like, philandering chicken? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is that supposed to be? Philandering chicken. Alright, first. That's the guess of it. It's been about 20 minutes since we started explaining to Lupine and the others. I explained the big picture when it comes to the difficult details related to magic. Plumeria takes over. For now, I hope they understand the principle of what we're saying. As long as what's written in the grimoires is accurate. I just seems ecstatic about being able to return to our world, but Lupine and the others seem less enthusiastic. Lupine, Daisy. In the end, I'll have to decide which world I want to stay in. I have to make a decision quickly. I don't mind, but... I glanced to the side at Daisy. <sighs> they, they want me to stay so badly. <sighs> her tail and her and ears are both hanging down, and she's clearly sad. Not quite to the extent that Daisy is, but Lupine and the rest look up upset as well. <laughs> you don't mind, Maria. Mr. Mitte 
At these words, everyone nods their head. Well, this is gonna be good. Oh, the bed. It's been a while since I've been to the bed myself. Well, it's not exactly my bed anyway. Still, I've been sleeping in this bed ever since I came to this world. There's no doubt that I've grown fond of it. Phew. Throw myself onto the bed. I lay back, looking up at the ceiling. I could always relax in this room. When I look up at the familiar ceiling, I feel at ease somehow. How strange. I'm thinking back on the afternoon when we were explaining about the spatial temporal spell. I never expected them to accept this situation so readily. It just shows how much they must have must be considering my feelings. I think about falling asleep like this, but somehow it feels like a waste. Might end up traveling back home tomorrow if we're able to activate the spell successfully. I should take a walk around town so I don't have any regrets. I get up from my bed and then head out to the tavern. When I get outside, the view of the ceiling illuminated by the moon fills my vision. I wander around the quiet city streets and then sit down on a wooden box that's lying on the side street, side of the street. My parents must be worried about me. A lot of time has passed ever since I arrived in this world. A time passed at the same rate in both this world and mine. They treat my case like a missing person. Thinking I went missing would be the worst outcome. It's even possible they assumed that I had died and I have already carved my name onto a gravestone. That's no laughing matter. <laughs> if that's the case, my return will be like a dead person coming back to life. <sighs> huh? The hell? When I turn around that sudden voice, I see Primera standing there. No, I guess not. Sure, go ahead. You can't sleep either, Primaria? I ask Primaria this as she sits down next to me and I as she shy light shakes her head back and forth. Something you want to ask me? Which world, huh? I'll bet Palmyra isn't the only one who wants wants to ask me about this. I'm sure that Lupin and Daisy Dali Veracca all want me to know. Even Anzu, who's from the same world as me, must be curious. I. <sighs> this is the hardest one of all, but there's going to be multiple ways, guys. There's multiple ways of this. It's going to be multiple ways. That's why I've got to make multiple parts of this episode. Of this series, I mean. Can't decide. Sorry, I still haven't decided yet. Oh, Pomeria's face. I see an expression that looks happy one second and sad the next. However, from the tone of her voice, it sounds as if she's at ease. It's difficult to tell exactly how she's feeling. What is it? Alright. Pomeria falls silent after this, holding doubts in my mind about what she could be thinking. So the two of us started walking back to the tavern. Oh, the forest. The next day, all of us are in the forest. Not somewhere in the forest where the trees and on the grove are thick, but a spot that is suitably open. Plamir is the one who had pointed out this spot. The reason we're here is that Plamir doesn't want us to use Asian magic where someone might see us. It's certainly true that if we succeeded in activating a special temporal spell, then a person could disappear from that very spot. It's better if no one were to see us. I think she's fine. As and I are standing a little way, ways away from Plumeria, watching her draw the summoning circle. The summoning circle is much bigger than I imagined, but I can understand why this needs 
such a large scale of preparation. The pine and the girls, on the other hand, seem to have discovered a place to pick fruit nearby and have gone off to collect food supplies. I read a few grimoires as well and I sort of remember the contents. <laughs> No comment. I didn't say that, did I? Well, she's not necessarily wrong, which is why I'm in a tight spot. I couldn't forget about those even if I wanted to. The grammar which just burned into my mind, particularly is the one about the matters between a husband and wife. I seriously regret the fact that I read that grimoire because the recipes for ver for variety of astrodiacs, love potions, and stamina enhancers are burned into my brain. That book is filled with so much, man. Next moment, Palera runs over to us looking satisfied. So this is the real magic summoning circle? When I look down at the ground, I see a summoning circle with a mysterious pattern drawn there. I've often seen magical circles in anime and manga, but the, the real thing has strangely different feels to those from fiction. It seems the screen magic will be used here. Lupin and the others have appeared of a basket full of fruit. I see. Man. Looks like we're actually leaving. Dalia nods satisfactorily at the explanation while Veronica stands next to her, staring down at the magic circle with an expression on her face. Well, sure has. It seems that Anzu is having trouble keeping up with the conversation between the two mages. Unfortunately, I can't really understand the content of their conversation either. I think it's a spell which allows you to travel wherever you like within the kingdom. That should be be about right. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> that face. Something to connect our worlds? I completely forgot. Hmm. Something I have to with me, which is also in my home world. Not only that, I have to know where it is. Our storefront, did you go back to the shop to get your phone that day? You don't have it with you. Then let's try using our phones. Huh? Using our smartphone as a medium is all well and good, but does mine have to be the same brand as Anzu's? Anzu's our phone are different brands, right? Seriously, what a coincidence. But the fact that they're the same brand is very unfortunate. Seriously, not only did I know that we have the same brand, but I have also had no idea that the reason for that coincidence was related to me. I wouldn't do that, even when I'm next to Anzu. If I'm working, I don't have to spare time to be checking her out. I never stare at someone else's phone more than necessarily in the first place. Ah, we know exactly where both our phones are, and they're 
The same car and all the conditions seems perfect. With that subtle, we stand in the middle of the magic circle, following from various directions. Now, we just have to believe in Plumeria, okay? Just believe in her, guys. It seems that Anzo still has a state in and have doubt about whether we can actually make it back to our world via a magic circle. However, living in this world seems spells or monsters becomes a daily affair. Anything could happen at this point and it wouldn't surprise me. However, when it comes to other dimensions, even I have trouble grasping the reality of traveling from one world to another. Well, I shouldn't say that considering that I come from another world myself. The only thing we can believe is Premier right now. Just when we're about to start, Lepine raises her voice in protest. She runs to Anzu and I, be careful, being careful not to step in onto the magic circle. The others do the same, gather around Anzu and I. What's wrong? Huh? She sells the basket filled with fruits at, at us. Take it with us. Aren't these supplies you are going to use at the tavern? Lupine! Lupine laughs and and turns red, scratching the end of her nose. Shy lie. However, there are tears in the corners of her eyes. Oh, I can see them. I'm not the only one who work hard, you know. Everyone did their best, and that's why my why the tavern made a comeback. It's the truth, the Shreshi Tavern was able to make a comeback not only thanks to me, it's only thanks to the Pine Days and, and contribution of many others. I have? Even in love with me. Oh. We both freeze at her sudden confession. However, the one who breaks the awkward silence is Daisy. Hey, don't jump onto me without no warning. What kind of logic is that? I don't think we're being able to lovely Dovery. They just squeeze onto me and won't let go. At first, I just assumed she was having a tantrum, but now I can feel her that her body's trembling slightly. <sighs> we're gonna miss the cat. We're gonna miss poor Daisy the cat. Neko. I'm sure that Daisy must be talking about the time when she got straight inside that cave. That was back in Volume 1. Daisy must be trying to put me at ease, and this is her own way of encouraging me. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Saying this, I pet her head. Daisy. Even them too, as well. <laughs> Both of you are. Just admit it. You too.
Donna shakes the sword on her hip at me. Oh, man. No problem. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Saying this, Plumeria runs up onto me. I owe you a lot to you as well, Plumeria. Really? Thank you. I taught Daisy how to make them, so don't worry about them disappearing from the menu. Wait. Tamir runs back at, out of the magic summoning circle. She seems to want to tell me something, but maybe it's my imagination. I fall upon the others with my eyes as they run out of the magic circle along with Plumeria. Once everyone's out of the circle, Plumeria puts her hands together and begins to chant. Whoa. It's active! Soon after Plumeria begins her chant, the magic glows with a soft light. The surrounding view gradually wash out with the white light. Just like that day. The memory that pops into my head is of the day I traveled to this world. That day, a light similar to this was spilling out of that locker, and I felt as my body were swollen up by that light. Suddenly, I look over Anzu and our eyes meet. Even though her expression looks normal, I can see her see a hint of sadness in her eyes. Goodbye, everyone. My vision is wiped out completely, and my consciousness fades. The hell? Huh? What? The light which was washed out of all of my surroundings disappeared suddenly, letting color and shape emerge in the in the world again. No way! What? We're stuck here? I guess it was a failure. Damn! Plumber, what happened? I see. So I feel both relieved and regretful. was a failure. Hmm. While I listen to Lupin and the others talk from the distance, I wonder why we might have, have failed. Do you really have the same phone as me? That's the first doubt that pops into my mind. That's not what I meant. <laughs> why should we read that most at the beginning? When did you touch my phone? Is my locker door locked? Of course! That's the one way you could do that! Wow! Just wow! I've underestimated how far Hans will go. Actually, I'm shocked that the manager's unbecoming behavior. Also, even if it's during the work hours and no one is around, don't go sneak into, my, into the men's changing room like that! This should be correct. I wonder what went wrong. It's all fine. It's fine. Now I can just stay here. <laughs> we never thought it was going to be easy, so don't worry, okay? Oh man. Let's go back to the tavern for today. We could talk about why it might have failed there. You're fine, it's cool. But his expression grows cloudier. If I don't do something, she'll get really depressed. But I don't, I don't have any intentions of blaming you, alright? There's no rush, so let's take our time with the research. But her still has an air of sadness about her. Alright, when we get back to the shop, let's eat some cream puffs. Yeah, I'll, I'll even add extra whipped cream this time. Bro, she's she's ready for it. She's ready for this. 
A pair of forfeit sounds good too. Bloomer's eyes are sparkly now, and all her signs of sadness have disappeared. However, when Bloomer realizes how excited she's getting about food, she looks embarrassed. Stop that! A smile is better than a frown, isn't it? I definitely is. Come on, let's think about the next step in our plan while we eat something delicious. Got it? Might take some time to get back to my own world, but for now, I'm, I'm happy here. We can take our time and patiently find a way to return someday. Wow, I, I can't believe that thing failed. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright everyone, that is the end of the first one. But don't just leave yet, guys, because there is pretty much a second ending to this. So don't worry about that. I mean, don't... I mean, don't... I'm <laughs> my bad. I'm so bad at this part, but... Yeah. But don't forget, everyone, there's a second ending. So this one right here was the first one. So now... We're going to show you guys... I'm going to show you guys the second one that's going to be in the next episode, which is actually the second finale episode. Second to finale episode. Second to final. But yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.